Hello my friends, uh, in this video I am going to teach you how you can write the solution section in your data file. Uh, why we need to have a solution section? Solution section is uh, defines the condition at the beginning of the simulation. It means that you need to tell the Eclipse that what, what is the initial pressure and the phase saturation, for example, oil, water or gas saturation for each grid at the beginning of the simulation. Okay. Another thing that you need to tell the Eclipse is that what is the gas or ratio for each cell at the beginning of the simulation. And also what is the depth of gas or ratio, uh, uh, what, what is the dependency of the gas or ratio or bubble point pressure or others uh, with the depth. And other things that you need to tell the Eclipse if you have an aquifer, what are the initial conditions for the aquifer. And so on. So everything that's related to the initial condition of the simulation should be in the solution section of the data file. You have, uh, in total, you have three options to initialize your simulation. Option number one, uh, option, uh, first option is that uh, you just write the uh, you just write the pressure and the saturation of the each grid in the data file. Or for example. If you have 7200 grids, this is the total number of grids, you can say that all my grids are in the 4927 PSI. Okay, so if you use, for example, pressure keyboard, you can write the initial pressure for the all, uh, your, all, all of the, your cells, and in this case, you are telling that all my cells, or 7200 cells, are in the initial condition, initial pressure of 4,927 psi. Okay, so if you can use the pressure keyboard, and you can write the number of cells and the pressure of this each cell, and it's finishing with a slash. Okay, another things that you need to tell the Eclipse is the, what is the saturation of the water or and saturation of the gas in your reservoir. For saturation of water, you can write as well. Okay. SWAT and similar to the pressure you have 7200 7200 grids and you can say that all uh, the water saturation in 7200 grids is 0.21 so you initialize the uh, water saturation if you have gas in your reservoir okay so you can use S gas keyword and in SCAS keyword, this should be SCAS. So in SCAS keyword, you can say that I have 7200 uh, grids, and this is the saturation of gas. So in this case, for example, saturation of gas in the 7200 grids are zero. And based on SCAS and SWAS, water saturation and gas saturation, Eclipse can calculate the oil saturation. So you don't need to tell the Eclipse what will be the oil saturation for each grid. Another thing that you need to tell the Eclipse is the gas or ratio. So RS, RS keyword is assigned for the gas or ratio. And similar to pressure and uh, S what or S gas keywords, you, you need to write, for example, for 7200 degrees, I have 1.29 uh, gas or ratio. So uh, you assign the properties the preferences you manually assign the properties for each uh, grid I mean for example uh, pressure water saturation gas saturation gas or ratio you manually uh, put these values for the each grid in the initial condition of the simulation and in case that you have a, a vaporous uh, gas so vaporous gas so you, you can use RV keyword and RV keyword is similar to RS keyword. So you can write, for example, you have 7200 degrees and uh, vaporous uh, gas will be 0 0.00725. And how you can know that which of these keywords you need to use? It's uh, in the run spec section of your simulation, you told the number of phases, okay? So based on the number of phases that you have in the run spec section of your simulation, you will decide that which one of these keywords you, you want to use. So in this case, for in this simulation, uh, we know that we need to have a pressure and we have water 
we have gas and we have oil phases so we need to write s what and s gas and also we, we define that we have solution gas so we need to write rs as well so you need to have these four keywords in the solution section and then done another option is that using one point in the reservoir for example one reference point in the reservoir and give the properties of the reservoir at this point for the eclipse to and Eclipse can calculate the other properties in different points based on the uh, properties that you gave to the to the eclipse in the props section. Okay, so this is the, this is the another way to initialize your simulation. For the for that case, you need to use equal keywords, and equal keywords is get, is getting the depth, so depth of this point. Okay, pressure at this point what is the pressure of this sample point and oil water contact what will be the oil water contact in your system and pc at oil water contact what will what will be the capillary pressure at oil water contact point and gas oil contact it means that this line and what will be the capillary pressure at the gas oil contact so if you you give this information to the eclipse eclipse can calculate the pressure based based on the density of the fluid different fluids for example here we have oil so based on the density of oil eclipse can calculate the pressure in different sections of the reservoir and when it comes to the gas oil contact uh, water oil contacts eclipse is switching the um, uh, density to the water density and calculating the rest of the pressure based on the gas de uh, water density similar thing is happening in the gas section and and also uh, eclipse you in the prop section you gave the relative permeability data so based on the relative permeability and capillary pressure data eclipse can calculate the initial saturation for different points in these sections i mean for example in the oil column or the gas column or the water column so based on those properties eclipse can calculate the saturations and the pressures so you don't need to give the eclipse uh, what will be the for example pressure or water saturation in different points so equal is the keyword that you may want to use for the initialize your simulation if you are uh, new in this field so you are a beginner in this reservoir simulation you can for your reservoir you can use this option and you can write the pressure water saturation gas saturation or rs so let's see for example here in the solution section i'm going to use pressure s gas s water and rs to initialize my simulation okay so i'm i have 7200 grids so uh, and the pressure for this 7200 will be 3400 and this keyword pressure keyword is finishing with the slash okay so i already have pressure the next keyword will be gas saturation of gas and i'm saying that i have the saturation initial saturation of gas for grids are zero and the next keyword is in, is a water saturation and in this case i am telling that water saturation for all the all grids will be 0 0.2 and solution gas or ratio is 5 for example in the in my case in this simulation so if you put these uh, four keywords uh, in your data file uh, you, you can initialize the solution section okay and also remember that uh, just copy and paste these lines in, in the in your solution section this this is a little bit more advanced so in the, uh, right now just copy and paste this in, in the solution section of the, your data file uh, another thing that i want to talk is that uh, we have uh, another option and so they say this one is the option number three it shouldn't be number two so and what is that is the restart what is restart sometimes in your simulation for example you are uh, 
planning to have a for example EOR after reaching 90% water cut okay and you want to test the different scenarios that after 90% water cut and you have many uh, cho uh, choices one choice is that run every single scenario from day number one reach to 90% water cut and test one of the simulations another option is that uh, run till 95 90% uh, water cut create a restart file so after that after that 90% use this restart file as an initial condition and uh, run different scenarios so in this case you can save some time indeed you can save uh, save many time and simulation simulation time so initial condition for your simulation is the end of the another simulation so in this case you need to use the restart cases okay restart keyboard uh, 